Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when I upload. So today I am sitting down and finally filming my 21 days of Ulta Beauty. So the Ulta Beauty is definitely over by now. This was in September and it was from September 2nd to September 22nd. And I believe that's the right dates. That's 21 days, right? Yeah. So it's three weeks of so many good deals, honestly. And I was very late. Like I seen the announcement of it and it was like the weekend before it started. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to sit down and film a video and get it edited and put it up on what I would recommend for you guys. So instead, I decided to do a little bit of a 21 Days of Ulta Beauty haul and show you guys everything that I personally bought during the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty. If you're interested in this look, you're going to have to wait because it is coming next Wednesday on my channel. So it is a full Wednesday wine. And I really just was in the mood to sit down, drink some wine, and chat with you guys. So that is what I did. I'm actually currently still finishing my wine. So I'm just going to jump on into this. I felt like just sitting down and filming this after I got done with my Wednesday of wine. So yeah. I was really stupid and I didn't get a screenshot every single day of the deals. Like everyone is offered their current deals. So you have the 21 days of Ulta Beauty sell where every single day... A couple new products will go up on sale and they're 50% off, which is amazing in the makeup and skincare world. Like, amazing deals. And this is always, like, the best time for me to stock up on my favorites for the most part. But sometimes new products will catch my eye, especially now that I'm a YouTuber and I want to try more things out on camera. That I'll be like, okay, I'm going to grab that while it's 50% off. But there's also, like platinum perks. I am actually platinum. I'm just about to hit diamond on my Ulta because for a while there I was shopping like on Beautylish and just stuff like that. I feel like I, I've done quite a bit of shopping this year, don't get me wrong, but I've been a steady platinum buyer off of Ulta for a couple years now, but they came out with diamond this year and I still have not hit it. I'm just about to hit it, so I don't know if the diamond members had even more selections, but you'll have your regular selections on the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty, plus you'll have platinum perks, which means it's just for people who have hit platinum and they have the opportunity to buy like an additional product that regular members don't see or don't don't have the chance of buying since they're not platinum kind of sucks for like people who don't like buy makeup that often because they still want to have the same rewards but you definitely spend quite a bit of money to make it to platinum and diamond for sure i've spent way too much this year on makeup and skincare but i did buy some platinum perks the bad thing is i did not take i have a screenshots from trend mood of the wholesale and I will throw that up on the screen for you guys but I do not have like screenshots of day by day sale and I really wish that I did but I did write down on the bottom of my products which day I bought them and the sale because some days I didn't buy anything if something didn't catch my eye or one day I was devastated that the product I really wanted sold out like super quick. So yeah, you have your 21 days of Ulta Beauty, but on top of that, they also have a, another huge sale going on at the same time of products that are marked down, not 50% off, but still, I want to say it was like 30, 40% off. And those products are on sale until supplies run out or until the 21 days of Ulta Beauty is done. So you can buy them throughout the whole 21 days. I do have those products here as well because I did buy a couple of those too. So yeah, first I'm going to jump into my 21 days of beauty items. So the first one on day one of the 21 days of Ulta Beauty was September 2nd and they had the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer from $34 marked down to $17 and then they had the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cleanser and Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. I'm not going to go through all of them as we go. This video will be so long, but I'm just going to kind of more touch base on what I got. 
So that day I definitely bought a hangover primer. You guys know from my foundation first impressions, this is my holy grail. I use all kinds of primers. I love primers so much, but hands down, this is my absolute favorite. It works the best with my skin. And yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. So I definitely grabbed it, but I'm also getting low on my current hangover primer. So this is definitely a backup. So after that, in the first week, you have Stila, you have Proactive, you have some Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlighters, some Mario Basquez, Bascu, I don't know how you pronounce that. You also have some Hula from Benefit. I was honestly thinking about getting those, but I ended up not. I just got a little sample of the regular Hula, so I was just like, oh, I think I'm going to try it out first before I buy them. Some Skin Iceland Cooling Gels, which I did not even realize that they were under eye gels. I don't know. I think I was just like super busy this day and I missed out on that because I probably would have bought some of those. Then Tarte Quick Dry Matte Lip Paints. That is such a good deal. I love those so much, but I'm trying to cool it on lip products right now because I have so many that I'm trying to go through and see which ones I'm really going to wear and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I didn't buy any more. I do have quite a few of those though. I believe I have a lip swatch video on those actually. Also something from Urad. Then they have a mascara from Lancome and Pericone and D. Honestly, I skipped out on all of those days because just nothing was like you know, I really need it. And honestly, this is just a way for me to stock up on products and to also just buy things that intrigue me that I know I can do like a full video for you guys on. So then we get to September 8th, which is the last day of the first week. And they had their Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definers on sale for $11.50 and I had to buy a backup. I actually have two other of these. I know it's getting a little ridiculous, but I have both of those opened. One of them is like almost completely gone and I really just need to buckle down and finish that one. But there's one that I've used a few times because it was new, long story short, I lost my first one and then I bought a new one and then I ended up finding my other one. So irritating. But since this was half off, I was like, I'm just gonna grab it now and have a backup. So. When I run out, I have another one, but I am in the shade taupe if you were interested. So I did grab that. Going to the second week of this, the first day I didn't buy anything. They had like some bare minerals and cosmetics brushes and some other skincare stuff, but I skipped out on that day. September 10th was the Stila primers and I've never tried those. So I did pick up the Stila One Step Primer, Prep, Soothe and Nourish. So I definitely want to try this out. I guess I really could be opening some of these for you guys, but you guys will probably start seeing these in videos. My brow definer and my hangover primer are just restock things. So you guys have definitely seen those in videos before, but this is the one step from Stila and I have not tried this out yet. Any new products to me in this, I haven't used any of these products, but like the ones that I point out as I've never tried these, I really have never tried them and I haven't tried them since I've bought them. They've all been sitting in this drawer waiting for this video. So I can't wait to start throwing these in other videos for you guys, trying them out and giving you guys my first impressions and then throwing them in hit or miss for you guys. I did grab that primer for $18, which is amazing, 50% off from $36. So September 11th, you have Buxom and Longcomb, and then September 12th, you have a Too Faced and a Derma Blend. I did purchase the full size of the Too Faced lip injection, and I'm so excited because mine is actually getting a little low. I just have like this little deluxe sample size that I've had for like ever now. And this is the full size. I'm so excited that I have the full size now because I've been running out on that one for a little bit. And I'm like, man, I really don't want to run out and not have a backup on that. But I did get it for $14, which is great. This stuff works so good. Like I swear by it. It's originally $28 and that's insane for a lip gloss. Like it does, it's a sheer lip gloss, but it plumps your lips so well. They have a regular one. I don't know how well the results are with that, but this is the Lip Injection Extreme. And if you are a wuss, you might not like it. It does have a lot of tingling and stinging going on. And on the 13th, you had some Smashbox primers. I really don't need any more Smashbox primers for a while. They last for 
ever. Insert the Sandlot. Forever. Clarisonic cleansing brush heads. I actually don't use a Clarisonic. I use my Foreo and my Michael Todd brushes. So yeah, I skipped on that. They also had the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eye Pencil. I already have that. And since I was already buying the ABH pencil, I actually bought two more brow products that I'll get to in a minute. Or since I was planning on buying all of those already, I was like, I'm not going to buy this one. It's definitely not like my favorite brow pencil out there. It's just one that I have. I don't mind it, so I'll finish it up. But I don't know if I would really say I would rebuy it. They also had like a Dermalogica cleansing gel. And I have so many cleansers that I'm trying out right now, so I passed on it. But on that... September 15th, we have, which is the 14th day, the end of the second week, we have the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara and their Tartish Lash Paint Mascara. I skipped on the Lash Paint Mascara because I have one that I'm still using, but I did go ahead and buy another Lights Lashes Camera Mascara because I love this mascara so much. And I know I said I wasn't gonna buy mascaras for a little while because I have so many that I had open and I'm trying to get through them, but I'm actually doing good at getting through them now. So I wanted to have one on backup. It might take me a little bit to open that one just because I want to use up as much of my mascara so I'm not like wasting them all the time. Then we move on to the final week. And the first day you have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and then a Hope in the Jar from Philosophy. The second day we had the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I love some Becca primers, but I do actually have a little sample of that. So I just was like, I'm going to try my sample before I actually commit to buying it. But that was a really good deal because it was $19 and Becca primers are usually $38. So yeah. First, a beauty face cleanser. I actually have a deluxe sample of that. Then we move on to September 18th, and I love my Ulta Beauty, just from Ulta Beauty. It's just the Ulta Beauty brand. Their brow tint, and I actually use it for like the gym and just like day-to-day -day like mom errands. When we're going to family's houses and stuff like that, it's just a brow tint. But I seen that the Tarte ones were $18 and going on sale for $9. And so I had to grab the taupe one. I'm gonna try it out. I haven't tried it out yet, but I did open it. That wand is like tiny. I could not believe that. But if you guys wanna see like a full video on this, let me know because I was really interested. And if you're a mom like me, or even just like a busy person, these brow tints are so handy to have. Um, the next day I skipped out, it was just like a MAC mascara and some skincare things from Juice Beauty. I do have a few things from Juice Beauty that I'm going to be trying out soon though. And then September 20th, another really good deal was the Cover FX Glitter Drops and Custom Enhancer Drops. They were half off for $21 and $22 and that's amazing because those are $42 and $44. Those are so expensive, but they're so nice. I have like the shades that I really like already, like in smaller, like deluxe sample sizes from like holiday, but like seriously, like two, three drops in your face and you're good to go, you know? So I didn't really feel the need to have to buy those. And I did skip out on the Origins. And then the next day I skipped out on the Benefit Poor Professional because I, I don't know, I'm really not... I've tried samples of it, but every single time I do, I'm just like, uh, I'm not like blown away by it. So I just decided to skip it on it because I have already tried it and I wasn't like super amazed with it, I guess. And then the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hours Hydrator. I love that. It's my favorite, favorite moisturizer. The issue that I have with this was the only one marked down was their one ounce jar and it was marked down from $19 to $9.50. I just like to go ham with that product and just buy the full size. That's what I have right now. And it, I actually have probably like half a bottle left. That stuff lasts for so long. But I'd rather just do the investment and have the huge bottle of it instead of paying $9.50 even for one ounce of this product. And last, we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizing Super Cream that I passed on just because I do have my Clinique. I've been loving it and I just decided just to pass on that for now. But I did buy the All Nighter from Urban Decay because that is a really good deal. It's originally $32 and I got it for $16. I've never tried this. It's insane. Everybody's tried All Nighter, but I have not. So I am excited to give this a go and put it to the test because it is supposed to be extremely long lasting and I am so excited to finally 
try this out. So I'm just going to show you guys what else I bought and see if I can remember. So this is a mask from Timmy and I definitely had to buy this and try this out. It was marked down to 15 from $30 and it has matcha and lemongrass and clay in it. And it's supposed to be amazing. I watched Shannon XO here on YouTube and she raves about this. And I've already heard amazing things about Timmy. I wanna try out their tea so bad, but yeah, I just really wanted to try out this mask. You guys know I love skincare, so I'm excited to give this a go. This was a platinum perk. I also want to say that items from Flush were also a platinum perk. I am going to be doing a whole video on Flush soon. I kind of want to get like a couple more items to try out. I might not just because I did get this 100 makeup papers. It's a flip book, but it has blush, bronzer, and highlight all in this, but they're like papers. So I'm excited to try that out. And then this highlighting balm. And it's tiny. I am like a little concerned about that. I'm really hoping that I get my money's worth. That's why it was nice buying some things when they were on sale. Another platinum perk was the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is definitely an oldie, but I have never tried it and I've heard amazing things about it for a while. This was a lot of people's holy grail powder, so I did definitely want to give it a go. Let me know if you want a video on it too. Another platinum perk was the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. <laughs> Another brow product that I got, I love this brow pencil so much. I did get the shade two, but I have actually used probably close to half of the one that I have now. It lasts for quite a while. My brow pencils really do, but yeah, I just love it so much. It was half off, so I had to grab it. And another platinum perk that I was really interested in is the, I think it's Ply, Ply 2 Pigments. I don't know. It's their Illuminating Primer. This is from Juice Beauty. I have been wanting to try out Juice Beauty. It's an all organic brand and it's supposed to be just really amazing for your skin. It's supposed to be like skincare, but this is actually a primer for makeup. So I was really intrigued by that and I wanted to try it out, but it has very sleek, nice like glass packaging. And yeah, I'll definitely throw this in a video. I did just get another Juice Beauty. I think it was their moisturizer in my boxy look so i will have to throw those two in a video for you guys these next three items were just in the sell portion i do know that this one is the double duty beauty shape tape matte foundation from tarte i have tried out the hydrating and i really like it so i wanted to try the matte one out i've kind of heard like good things but i've heard more bad things so i'm a little nervous but i did get it half off and i did want to try it out and do like a first impression and wear test and all of that See how it compares to the other one because I really do like the hydrating one, but I got the shade Fair Neutral. And then I also got the Laura Geller Life Glows On Illuminating Palette. I got this because I've heard amazing things about Laura Geller highlights, the Gilded Honey, the, um, I think it was like Ballerina. Yeah, Ballerina. This is the palette that I already have from them, but I've never worn this because the shades are just too deep for my skin tone. There's like, there's the Ballerina, the Gilded Honey, and the Peach Glow. They are all super pretty shades, and they look so pale, like, on camera, but like, in person, if I was to wear them, I might even pet it on and just see. You guys see that? Like, I mean, it looks pretty. Maybe I do need to actually try it out, but... I don't know, to me, I'm just never really the one to go for like a gold highlighter, but it, it is pretty. But I was wondering if something lighter would work better with my skin. I will show you guys these, but I am going to try it out in a video. But even though they're lighter, they're almost like, I don't know, it might be really hard for you guys to see like because they're so bright. But they're like, almost like a holographic, and I don't really know how I feel about that. So I don't know. I'm hoping that, that it's not a bust on those, but I will definitely have to throw them in some kind of video for you guys. And the last product was to replace my Butter London Double Decker Mascara. So that is what I did. It was half off. Love this mascara. It is so good. It's usually $20. I think I got it for $12 or something like that. That's everything for my 21 Days of Ulta Beauty haul. I want to know what did you guys get from the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty? What products of these have you tried out and what do you think of them? I honestly just thought like for the most part it was like primers, foundation, and brow products. It was just like bam 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 like back to back on those. So I definitely stocked up on some brow products. I got a few primers and 
a couple mascaras. It definitely is just a way to do a stockpile to have backups and just it's really is that kind of sale so anytime there's a 21 days of Ulta beauty i am so freaking excited you guys are gonna have to rewatch this and take a shot every single time i say 21 days of Ulta beauty because it was quite a lot but yeah i am super excited about everything that i got i can't wait to start playing with it in videos and trying it all out and i'm excited that i have some of my favorite holy grail products on backup in case i run out yeah, let me know what you guys think about these products, if you guys have tried them or not, and what you picked up from the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.